Hey Prime visitors, in this video, I want to show you a very useful function that you can use in your scripts and that can save you a lot of time. So this function is the alerts function in PyScript. In any indicator you program or in any strategy, you want to create custom alerts because it's really hard for one person to keep track of what's going on at multiple charts at multiple time frames. So we can eliminate that and get alerted in real time using the alerts function in PyScript. And there are two ways to create alerts. First one is to go ahead to the clock icon and then create an alert. And here they have defined certain conditions that you can use to create your own alert. Or you can use PyScript. And the benefit of using alerts through PyScript is that you are free to create any alert you want to, and you are not just bound to these conditions. So now let's go ahead and create a simple alert just to understand the alerts function. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how you can use it in any of your scripts. I'll show you the real life example of one of my scripts that I use for my trading. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paste this code step by step and explain it to you because it's really simple. So let's go ahead and paste the first part of our code. That is this one in which we are defining the conditions. So in this example, we want to create an alert whenever there are two consecutive bullish candles. So we are defining our bullish candle one, that is the previous candle, and then bullish candle two, that is the latest candle. So anytime there are two candles, let me just go ahead and Go back here. So any time there are two candles that are present on the chart, we want to get alerted. And next, we can go ahead and create our variable that would combine these alert conditions. So here is that. And now let's go ahead and create the alert condition to trigger the message whenever this condition is met. So for that, we're going to use the alert condition function. And this function takes two argu three arguments. The first one is a condition, then there is the title, and then there is a message. So the condition is pretty simple. We want to create an alert whenever there are two consecutive bullish candles, which we have already defined here. So we're going to set this variable as our condition in this alert condition function. And then title, you can name it anything you want to. And the message here is really important because within the message, we can provide the data of what's available on the chart. So we can provide the ticker, we can provide the price at which the trigger is alerted, or we can also provide the interval or time frame at which the trigger or alert is being triggered. So here I have provided this message two consecutive bullish candles formed on ticker, which in this case would be your JPY at this time frame, at 10 second time frame. Now once we go ahead and save the script and apply this to a chart, let me just go ahead and add this to a chart. So right now you cannot see anything on the chart, but if we go ahead here and create an alert, now you are not just limited to these. You can click on this condition here and check and select these two consecutive bullish candles. And here, you want to check once per bar close because we want to check on every candle if our condition is met. And here we can go ahead and name this alert that is alert one. And then we can create this alert. So once this alert is created, it will notify us in real time about if there are two consecutive bullet candles. So let's wait for this candle to close and let's see if it closes. If there are two consecutive bullish candles, we should get an alert. So here you can see as soon as the candles formed, two bullish candles were formed and we got an alert that two conditions, two consecutive bullish candles formed on your JPY. And there's another alert because there, the condition is again true on these two candles. So here you can see how you can use the alerts condition function. Now, this is one way to define alert. The second one is to use alert directly without letting users select what they want. So here you can go ahead and define your condition. Let me just comment this out and 
here is the another way to use alerts feature in password let me just go ahead and delete this alert because we just wanted to test if it was working which it is so here if two bullish candles is true if two consecutive bullish candles are formed then we want to fire an alert and this alert function takes two arguments the first one is the message and the second one is the frequency which you saw here once per bar close every time or whatever you want to use once per minute once per bar close once per bar so here we are giving it the frequency of once per bar and our message is going to remain the same so now once we save this and update update this script on the chart you will also get a label because we have defined we want to plot a label whenever our condition is true so this is just for visual reference so here you can see two consecutive bullish candles so there is the label formed here are two consecutive bullish candles there is the label formed again so now let's go ahead and create an alert and here you can see since now we use the alert function directly instead of alert condition so the user is not able to modify the settings of this alert so you can depending on your usage you can use any of the functions either alert condition or alert in your PyScript course now as I promised let me just go ahead and show you implementation of alerts in one of my scripts that I have so let me just go ahead and so this script is the supply and demand indicator I cannot show you the source code the full source code but I'll just show you the parts where I have applied the alerts function for this script because what this script does is it shows the supply and demand zones the formation of supply and demand zones in real time on the chart as you can see here so there's this supply zone and then the price was going down after picking the order so let me just go ahead to the source code of this script and i'm just going to scroll down to the part where there is the application of alerts so you can see there is the alert condition and if we go to the create alert here we can see that there is this alert condition based on our definition of alert condition function in our code and then here we can name the script alert uh, where we want to for example we want we can name it supply demand alert and we can create an alert and then it'll notify us as soon as there is a, any of supply or demand zone formed on the chart so i hope by now you have understood the application of alerts function if you have any questions please comment down below i would love to answer them also don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in the next video